welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the latest version of Cockpit on Ubuntu Server 18.04.3. I've got a freshly updated Ubuntu Server VM over here, and we're going to go ahead and install Cockpit. And that's as easy as sudo apt install cockpit dash y to accept enter password and it's going to go through our install the nice thing about cockpit is that it works on multiple linux distributions so you've got support for debian based distributions like ubuntu and you've got support for red hat distributions like Fedora and CentOS and even Red Hat Enterprise Linux if you want to go that far. Once we get this installed we'll jump over to the web browser and take a look at what we can see in the latest version. So this is 164-1. We'll launch Safari. All right, in Safari, we'll navigate to our IP address and port 9090-9090. And it's going to say it's not private. Show details. Visit website. And so now we've got our login screen. We can see that it is, in fact, an Ubuntu machine. And we will... Log in with our username and password. And we want to check this box, reuse my password for privileged tasks. We don't want to log in as root to this. So this option here will allow us to do this. Don't want to save the password. We'll bump this up a couple notches. Okay, so as you can see here, we are on a virtual box operating system 1804.3 LTS. Host name, for some reason that's still not picking up the change I made, but um, we'll just go with that. That is the original host name when I built the master server VM image. We've got logs, and you can look at different levels of logs error and above or everything if you really want to try that storage so sda2 is our root and we're using approximately half of our storage space networking it's going to show interfaces it's going to show a nice little graph sending and receiving accounts and i've got a couple of different accounts on here currently services it'll list each of these we've got targets sockets timers and paths and one handy feature here is that you can access the terminal right in the browser. This is great if you are using DigitalOcean or another VPS or if you are not wanting to use SSH for some reason. This does give you the option. And then the dashboard is just graphs. And then if you had another server running cockpit, you could add that server by the IP address. You could specify a color and it will appear on the master graph. And so if you're running several Linux VMs, this is a little easier and quicker to set up than something like Prometheus and Grafana. It is a little more limited, but it's quicker, it's easier for beginners, and so 
you're going to find a lot of people using this. And again, a great thing about Cockpit is that it runs on many of the major Linux distributions, and that makes it a great asset. So, keeping this a little on the short side, I hope you found this useful. If there's something you'd like to see in Cockpit, let me know. I will potentially be doing additional videos on this topic and adding a CentOS VM and then showing how we can use one cockpit instance as sort of the master and then you just log into that one server and then you can see information for all the rest from that original web interface. So on that note, we'll, let's see, we'll take a look at cockpit here. We are on version 164. If we go to the project website, real quick like, um, we can see, install, view instructions, Let's see, does it tell us what the current version is? Okay, so we are a little bit behind. So where's 164? We are way behind. If we are actually running version 164, that comes back all the way from March 21st, 2018. If we come back to the main blog site, we can see that Cockpit 209 is the newest one. And compared to what we are seeing on here, the 209 version has a bit of an updated look. On that note, I want to thank you for watching. If you have a moment, please take the time to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And with that, once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.